Wouldn't it be cool if you could make professional looking clothing mockups like this one with absolutely zero skill from any device? Well, now you can. Making those high quality professional mockups is essential for every print shop and clothing brand out there. But those type of mockups aren't always within everyone's reach for various reasons. They usually take a lot of time, they take a lot of skill, and they usually take a pretty decent budget. Well, now there is a much easier way. Today we're checking out Mockit, which is a completely web-based mockup generator. They have over 2,200 different mockup templates covering all of your basic clothing items like tees and hoodies, plus a bunch of other stuff like hats, outerwear, bags, baby clothes, damn near every piece of soft goods that you could ever want to print your logo onto. And the really cool thing about this platform is it works from any device. You don't need any special software. So if you're out on the go and you need to send some mockups to a client or a printer in a pinch, you can pull out your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever you've got with you and knock that out in only a couple of minutes. All you need to have is an image of your artwork with a transparent background and you're good to go. So that means file types like PNG, PDF, EPS, and SVG. JPEG is supported too, but obviously JPEGs don't have transparent backgrounds, but JPEGs will work if you're mocking something up, say like a photo on a shirt. But let's check this thing out. It's pretty cool. I put a link to it down in the description below if you want to follow along with me. I'm going to be doing this on a desktop just for the sake of getting a nice screen recording for you guys, but all of the steps are the same on mobile, tablet, whatever you're using. The first thing to take note of is these mockups are not just some generic shit. These are made from all of the actual pieces that you would be printing on in real life. You can see they've got all of the major brands, they've got a few boutique brands, and you can even request new mockups if they don't already exist on here. Originally, they didn't have any independent Trading Co stuff a while back, and that's a brand that I'm a big fan of and I use a lot of here in my shop. So me being the person that I am, I requested a pretty monstrous list of stuff from them. And and it's all on here now, so that's pretty awesome of them to do. Let's mock up a t-shirt real quick. So I'm gonna go for the next level 3600 because this is a t-shirt that I use a lot of here in my shop. You can see as soon as this thing loads, it gives you this little tutorial type of thing here. So this is super easy for anyone to just jump on and use. It's really kind of idiot proof. Down here, they've got multiple views of the front side and the back side of the shirt, so you can pick whichever one suits your needs best. You've got a layers tab over here where you can change the background color to anything you want to. They even said they're working on an update right now where you can upload your own background image, so that's pretty cool. And if you wanna export your finished mock-up with a transparent background, all you have to do is just delete that layer altogether. There's a shadow layer, so that's this little drop shadow around the edge of the shirt. You can keep that or get rid of that if you want. I'm gonna keep it just to add a little bit of dimension to this thing. And right here is where you can change the shirt color. And now this is cool. These are all of the actual colors for that shirt that this brand makes. And they've taken the time to do this for every single garment on the platform. That's genius. So I'm gonna make a black tee with a front and a back print on it, and this is so insanely simple. I'm actually gonna start off with the back of the shirt because this is where the bigger piece of art is gonna go, and I can show you how this works a little bit better. So it starts off with just clicking this little plus sign to the right right here. This is where you're gonna upload your artwork. I already have a bunch of it in here, so I'm gonna go for this super cool looking Judas Priest design that I've called Screening for Vengeance because I'm old now, so dad jokes. So I'm just gonna click it to add it onto my shirt, and you can see it automatically replaced the stock design with my new one, and it automatically did pretty much everything that you would normally have to do in a Photoshop mockup. If I zoom in on this thing and kind of pull the artwork off to the side of the shirt, you can see what's going on. So you can see if we look to the left, the artwork just looks like a regular ass image. There's nothing special about that. And placing an image onto a picture of a shirt is not a mockup. That's lazy garbage. But if we look to the right where the image is on the shirt, you can see that we've now taken on the characteristics of the shirt. There's highlights, there's shadows, there's texture going on here. And even if I move around my image, you can see right here that it's reacting with these wrinkles of the shirt. You've got shadows, you've got highlights, there's all the dimension going on here. This looks a lot more realistic, like this was actually printed. Normally, if you were doing a mock-up like this in something like Photoshop, you would have to create all of these layers of highlights and shadows and texture, which is very time consuming and very difficult to do it right. And even if you had something like a pre-made Photoshop template, you would still A, need to pay for Photoshop, which is expensive for some people, and B, need to have a decent working knowledge of Photoshop to make sure your design is set up right, all the layers are placed correctly, and everything else for your mock-up to come out right. With this generator, it does it all for you. You don't have to think about anything. So you could have the IQ of an egg salad sandwich and still make mock-ups that look good. So let's wrap this shirt up to show you how fast this really is. I'm gonna go to the flat laid back mock-up first. I'm gonna drop my artwork on there. Let's scale this thing down to an appropriate size. 
Somewhere around there looks pretty good. That looks like it'd be around a, you know, 13, 14 inch wide print. So that's pretty solid. Actually, that's a little bit big. Right around there is good. And I'm going to angle it just a little bit so it kind of fits the flow of the shirt a little bit better. And boom, that's the back of the shirt done. So next I'm gonna to jump to the front side. I'm gonna add this little piece of text art here, which is the same thing as the back, just missing the whole eagle thing. We're gonna scale it down accordingly to be a left chest print. So that'd be around a four inch or five inch wide print, depending on what you're going for. Move that around to where it should go, which is right around there. And there's the front side done. Actually, let's kind of shift that down a little bit there. Now the front side is done. And if we want to, we can clean things up just a little bit by going to the layers tab here and getting rid of the manufacturer tag. You can see this brand tag layer, just delete it to clean things up and make it look a little nicer. And now all that's left to do is just download our mockup. So go to this little cloud with the arrow in it right here and you can choose a JPEG or a PNG image, whichever file type suits you best. Make sure you have this box selected right here if you wanna download just the image you're looking at right here. If you have it unchecked, it will spit out all six of these different views in one combined image, which might be cool if you mock them all up. I only mocked up the two, so I only wanna download the ones that I'm looking at. So I'm gonna click on a PNG image, and now it's gonna spit out a high-res image of our completed mockups for me, ready to send off to whoever they need to go to. There's more though. This also has the ability to add special fabrics and patterns. So let's say you wanna mock up something like a tri-blend or a heathered shirt or something that has a camo pattern on it, if those options exist for the garment that you're working on, they're in here. So let's go for a hoodie this time. I'm gonna go for a Bella and Canvas 3279 because I know this hoodie comes in a heathered version. I'm gonna go for that traditional athletic gray heather hoodie because I really like those for some reason. So everything is gonna start off the exact same. I'm gonna choose the hoodie view that I wanna use, which I'm gonna go for this one right here. I kinda like the wrinkle running through it. It kinda just adds a little something to it, a little bit of realism. So we're gonna go with that one. I'm gonna click to add my piece of artwork onto this thing and scale it accordingly to fit where it's supposed to go. So, I don't know, somewhere right around there. We gotta actually go a little bit smaller than that. Position it up. I think it looks pretty straight with the pocket there. So I think that's probably pretty good where it is. I'm gonna go back to my layers panel right here and I'm gonna change the hoodie color. You can see they've already got athletic gray in there except it doesn't have the heather texture on it yet. And you can also change the drawstring color of the hoodie to anything you want. This hoodie will come with an athletic gray drawstring in it, so I'm gonna add that. And lastly, to finish this thing up, all you have to do is go over to this tab that says add fabric, and you get the option between a dark heather and a light heather. You've got two different textures here because they're gonna react differently according to what color of garment you're working on. So if you got a dark color, like a charcoal, you're gonna go with the dark. We've got a light color in this case, so we're gonna click on that. It's gonna add the texture to our hoodie, and that's it, that's done. And actually, that looks pretty Pretty sick, I might make this. If you want one of those, now's the time to speak up. Maybe we'll make a video printing that. Let's do something with camo real quick before we end this off. So I'm gonna go for the independent EXP 54 LWZ jacket, which is a mouthful. Mainly because these guys were nice enough to add these for me, and because I've got two or three boxes of these in white and black camo sitting in my office that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. And actually, pieces like this thing where we're adding the camo pattern is one less step than the Heather version, as if this needed to get any easier. All you have to do is click on that same Add Fabric button. You can see we've got all three of our camo patterns that exist for this jacket. I'm gonna run with the black camo. I'm gonna add my artwork into it, which this was the sleeve print for the Bushido shirt, I believe, which was mega popular and sold out within minutes every time I made it. I might need to make that one one more time. But anyways, I'm gonna run this artwork running vertically along the zipper because I think that's gonna be the best placement for something like this on this type of a garment. So uh, right around there looks pretty good. Let's get that a little bit more towards the pocket maybe down a little bit to be a bit more of a realistic print expectation. And right there, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's check out the white camo. Uh, white camo looks pretty sick too, but I think I would choose a different piece of artwork for something like this, but I mean, now I've got some sort of a jumping off point to figure out what I'm gonna do with these, and that took me, what, like 45 seconds? So that's pretty awesome. And that is Mock It. This thing right here is annoyingly fast and easy. I mean, I spent all these years, all this time learning how to create high level mockups like this in Photoshop, and these people swoop in and make it so that anyone can make them in a matter of a couple minutes. They took care of you! They 
dig your dick. In reality though, that's a super good thing because as that old business saying goes, time is money and you're saving a hell of a lot of time with this. If you wanna check out Mock It, as I mentioned, the link is down below. They've got a free trial you can use and after that, it's subscription based. It's nine bucks a month or if you do an annual subscription, it works out to like 6.58 a month. Both options are incredibly cheap when you consider the cost of all the other methods out there to do this and the amount of time you save alone is worth the cost if you have to make mockups as much as someone like me. I'm definitely keeping this around for a little while. If you guys need any more help with any of this, Mockit has pretty extensive guides on how all of this stuff works and they've got really great support should you need help beyond that. If this video helped you in any way, please slap a thumbs up on it for me and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. All right, recording, recording, sweet. And man, this thing looks really clean. Oh shit, my food's here. I'm out of here. Right here, I believe, was the sleeve print on the bleep. Why can't I talk like a normal human being?